All right, all right, all right, all right. Eugenia Cooney, guys. <laughs> Somebody had sent me this a few days ago. Uh, it's called What What is Eugenia Cooney's Problem? I know that name. I don't know why I got that weird. I'm a little, listen, we're still warming up. All right, don't give me any problems. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. I mean, I don't know if, what her, I mean, I've, Okay, let's just see what we got here. Renewed calls for you. There are now renewed calls for YouTuber Eugenia Cooney Eugenia? to be removed from YouTube. Oh. Medically, it's very dangerous. I mean, it can cause like long-term organ failure. I mean, listen, if we're talking about medically removing Eugenia, Eugenia Cooney from YouTube, we should probably remove people like me too. <laughs> no, but people like Nikocado Avocado then. You can't really just go one way. You got to go to both extremes of people who... If your argument is probably something along the lines of like glorifying a particular issue, you gotta you gotta keep that consistent, boy. You know you gotta get them all gone. But then that'd be fat phobic, right? So, and I guess some of her followers have admitted that they're jealous of her thin look. She does not look good. I mean, from a professional standpoint, like she needs help. Probably. What is that? Oh, somebody. Uh, Jesus! Oh my you God! Why are people so toxic to this girl? I don't really get it. I mean, she's struck. Well, I mean, I guess I get it. People just like to bully people on the internet. Huh? I'm sure there's valid criticisms like there is with everybody at the end of the day. It seems to have bordered obsession now. But anyways, yeah. So obviously, I don't look too good there. I'm aware. I know. <laughs> wow. That's her when she... That's her when she was... Uh... Wow. That's something else, man. Jesus. I was not expecting that. She does look very nice. <laughs> There's not a lot of videos on YouTube that leave me speechless, but this one video I'm about to show you shook me to my core. Shook. I feel like I should share this with you guys because on this channel, I like to talk about working out and overall health. Before Ooh. I show you guys this video, I want to give you guys just a trigger warning in case there's anyone that's dealing with any sort of eating disorders, but okay. specifically <clears throat> anorexia. All right, let's roll the clip. Want to film as my next video yet? I think I'm going to try to hopefully film something. I mean, here's the thing is that she's never going to get better, unfortunately. And the biggest reason she's never going to get better is because she makes money not being better. Um, there's no incentive for her to work on herself. Because she's one of a lot of different people who I would say probably in low cow territory where they make their money from people like watching them and consuming them and they get attention based on their very skinny look. So it's never going to end. It's going to be a perpetual cycle. Because not only is there probably some kind... Well, obviously, there's some kind of like a mental issue going on when it comes to their relationship with food, which a lot of people have. Like I have, a, I have an issue with my relationship with food too. But um, now there's some monetization. She's getting it monetized. So if she got... I, I don't know. Or maybe she would do well if she got, you know, uh, in a healthier weight range, but we really don't know. <clears throat> Tomorrow, though. Meet Eugenia Cooney, YouTuber... Twitch streamer, and unfortunately, the sufferer of anorexia nervosa. Anorexia is the fear of weight gain beyond the balance of reason. It has a high mortality rate, and only 50% of those who have it recover, which takes five to six years. Today, we're going to take a dive into how she got here. And I'm surprised it's so high. If I would have thought it would have been lower, people that would actually recover from it. I wish we could get that number up for morbidly obese people too, of like 50% of them not doing that anymore. <laughs> Why there isn't anything being done to help her. Eugenia, I mean, what is there that you could do? There's nothing you can do to help her. Um, it's just life, you know what I mean? Like, if you really wanted to help her, here's what would have to happen. She would have to not alone. People would need to stop consuming her content. Um, and then she would need to get her shit together. But it's probably not going to happen. I think that there's an unfortunately... There's, sometimes you just kind of hit the point of no return almost. Like, you know, you just... You get up, you hit a certain point, <clears throat> And there's really nothing that you can do anymore. Um, we're probably there. You know, she, she, and she's probably not going to change because, again, she's getting paid for it. So why would she, right? She was born July 27th, 1994 in Boston, Massachusetts. Growing up, she didn't have that much friends and was bullied at school, unfortunately, okay. causing her to switch schools. And That's after tough. her first year of high school, eventually started being homeschooled. While being homeschooled, she gave modeling a shot. And what did she get bullied for? I'm not understanding. Like, how, why did she get bullied? Is there ever a description for that? Like... And uh, I guess that didn't really work out. So instead, she focused on building an online presence. She began her social okay. media career in 2011 when she started streaming on YouNow and eventually creating her YouTube channel that same year. 
In 2013, she uploaded a video <clears throat> titled How to Ratchetly Twerk, which went absolutely viral. I feel like back then it was so much. It's interesting. She looks so much more. Um... Video titled How to Ratchetly Twerk, which went. She looks like she's got a little bit more meat on her bones here. But, um. Uh, how sad. Absolutely viral. I feel like back then it was so she much. She has a bizarre relationship with her mom. I mean, that would probably explain a lot if there is something crazy going on there. So, and I don't, I don't know what that is. No. It's um, easier to like blow up because anything even a little edgy was like really eye opening. And so it was a little easier to go viral back then. Nowadays, if you go on Instagram, like the first thing you see is someone trying to twerk. So times change. After raking in the views on YouTube, okay. she expanded to Twitch in 2019. And as of the posting of this video, has 438,000 followers. Things were looking great for Eugenia. She was doing what she loves, being successful online, making friends and money. But in 2015, viewers began to express concern around her weight loss and mental state. I don't know about you guys, but there would have been some red flags from the very first video she uploaded on YouTube. And you know what saddens me the most? I mean, I don't doubt it, but then also like, what's a red flag now compared to a red flag back then? It seems silly, but people weren't nearly as aware of the world back then, especially on like the internet. Now, there's so much information available to you. You're probably you'd probably be surprised how smart you are, because um, you could just like anytime you have a qu back in the day you couldn't do this, but anytime you have a question, you could just look it up and find the answer. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but that that's like unheard of. That's not normal to be like, oh, I have a I have a question. Let me go answer it. You know, that's a very abnormal thing. From that video in 2015, I feel like a lot of our viewers are either in denial just like her or they just don't care about her and just looking at her just because she's just pure entertainment. Probably, I mean, seriously, yeah. how can you just sit there and ignore the fact that this girl looks like she's one fall away from ending it all? I'm not saying this to make... I think that a lot of people enjoy that. I'm sure that there are people who like watching her because they appreciate her and her content, but I think most people are just like, it's a reality TV show. It's like watching a Kardashian, um, but also a little unhealthier. <laughs> in front of her. I'm really just saying this because it just boggles my mind. Although Eugenia has some fans that are lost in the sauce, a change.org petition was created <clears throat> titled Temporarily Ban Eugenia Cooney Off of YouTube. Unfortunately, the petition was removed, and to make matters worse... Yeah, I mean, they should remove the petition. It, it's an, it becomes a... It, what the heck? Why, oh, I don't think can use it. It becomes an interesting conversation about, like, um, how restrictive is too restrictive. Because, you know, maybe, that, maybe you mean well by saying that. Because you can remove that glorification of, uh, you know, her glorifying herself in that way. That's that's dangerous. But at the same time, like, how far do we go into, like, her not being able to make a living because of, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> which I think is another interesting and, like, valid argument. Like, yeah, what should how far do we go? How far uh, should we go into saying, like, you know what, you can't make money because of this thing. It's almost like a, it's like a, a restrictive freedom almost, or you're restricting an actual freedom of somebody. So, yeah, I mean, it's never ideal, but we don't live in perfect worlds where everything is restricted from us. It's like, you know, nobody's allowed to take away your food just because you're fat, right? Because it would be somewhat oppressive in a different way. Like, you're allowed to make bad choices. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, she shouldn't be banned. I think that would be unfair. But, I mean, listen, all she could really do is try to get some kind of intervention. <clears throat> Worse, she actually denied even having a problem. You know, guys, I'm not, like, in, like, recovery or anything. Yeah, and if they ban her, they have to literally ban everybody who's over like five, like through four hundred pounds, three or four hundred pounds on the internet too. Honestly, like so. Right now or anything. Years go by and it seems as though nothing's changed. As a matter of fact, it's you can probably tell it's gotten worse. A okay. YouTuber by the name Mia Finlay, I hope I said that right, gives the honest okay. truth about what needs to be done to help Eugenia. And I'll say it this bluntly: I can't help her. You can't help her. True You're not that. talking to Eugenia when you criticize or raise concern about that content. You are uh, talking to true. her eating disorder and it is loving it. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. Like I said, she, she obviously feeds <laughs> off of the attention. But you're also not really talking to her. I think that, and it's something people should understand, is that like... Nobody who really criticizes Eugenia cares about Eugenia that much. Like, they kind of pretend to care. There might be a little bit of caring, but a lot of it is just like, hey, I can make money talking about this topic more than anything else. You know, for me, I think it's just interesting. It's like a morbid curiosity of like, oh, let's talk about it. Right? But like, Eugenia's not going to watch your video. Eugenia's not going to change because of it. You're not going to be like this profoundly, um, <clears throat> like, massive shift in her life that'll make her go, wow, you know what? I am a silly little goose. None of that's going to happen, right? So it doesn't, you know, 
Mia speaks from experience as she's actually suffered from anorexia and successfully recovered from it. Until she gets there, she will not embark on recovery. And Mark, if she continues to receive like feedback, which is absolutely you know, making uh, the eating disorders day, which is you saying, I'm worried for you, which is you saying, you look like you're going to die, which is you. So the people that are actually raising concern and care about Eugenia aren't actually helping the case. It feels like they're actually making it worse. See, uh, Eugenia maybe. has something called body dysmorphia. And body dysmorphia means that your perception of reality is different from other people that are looking at you. So for Eugenia, she sees herself as perfectly normal. That's just how she is. And in some cases of anorexia, they feel like they need to lose even more weight. It's also important to note that a lot of eating disorders come about due to trauma and stress. So her fans raising sure. concern is actually making the situation worse. Uh, maybe. Oh, you're saying because they're adding stress onto her? I mean, yeah, sure, that's possible. Okay. Okay, so we know that Eugenia doesn't see the problem, but what about other people around her? What about her support system? Like, I don't know, relatives, her mom? I mean, listen, if the if she got the eating disorder with her support system around her, she's probably it's, they're probably a factor as to why she's got some kind of an issue in the first place. So I'm not really seeing mom uh, making any significant changes there because of it, let's be honest here. But okay. Um, well, it seems as though her mother is actively playing a part in this dangerous and self-destructive disorder. I think there's two possibilities when it comes to her mom. It's okay. either she's fully aware of the malicious stuff that she's doing to and her. And just to be clear again, like this stuff too, the speculation on why it's not also not productive. I, and like I'm doing it too, like whatever. But like, let's not pretend that the speculation of like, let's, let's examine. Why do you think this happened? You would leave it to a therapist. You wouldn't make your own assertions, especially since it's not in an, a, a curated environment where they could have an honest conversation with a the therapist. It's on the internet where it can be very easily brushed off as you're just kind of saying dumb shit because we might just be saying dumb shit. We don't really know. We're not like professionally trained in any capacity. Um, but you're not inside of like <clears throat> her. Her wall is still up. Her guard is up, right? So if you're at a if you're let's say she goes to a therapist. And I'm not saying that's something that she'll ever do, but let's say she goes to a therapist and they start having a conversation um, and they continue to have this conversation over a long period of time, <clears throat> maybe like a few sessions or even in the first session, but after a few hours and et cetera, et cetera, whatever, you know, she'll be in a spot that's a little more emotionally vulnerable and a good therapist can like, um, we'll say, handle that well without um, directing her mind in a particular direction because, you know, when you're in that emotionally vulnerable state, you can be very easy to manipulate um, but they got him in there, and then they can introduce the idea of like, you know, do you think that your mom's an enabler? Do you think this, that? Just saying it on the internet, you know, your wall's up. You're just going to be like, no, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. So it's not like it's going to be super productive. People guessing on the internet, I think it's just like a lot of them wanting to be right about something. Like, and who's, um, hey, same, you know? <laughs> same. Pass to underscore muncher underscore 42 super chatted $3.28. Three men walked into a bar. First guy says remember that one time when Papa got joined Destiny's Discord call, embarrassing. Yeah, Angie Toasty super chatted $4.99. Okay. Keep that, up the good work, Father Stomach. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the kind words, I guess. <laughs> Her daughter, or she has something that's called Munchausen by proxy. I know uh, it sounds maybe. like a bacteria but it's a real mental illness. bacteria i would have just said it sounds silly like food or something i would have that's the joke i would have made sounds like bacteria what the hell are you talking about this munchausen by proxy is where the caretaker of a child most often the mother either makes up fake symptoms minute, or right? creates real symptoms to make it look like the child is authentically sick in this case the yeah that's isn't that what happened in gypsy rose the mom like um basically like faked the th like gave her a bunch of shit and faked her uh Ill illness and then she got, yeah, it was pretty fucked up. Munchausen by the theory is that Eugenia's mom is very controlling, and Eugenia has this disorder to have some sort of control. Ah, uh, maybe. I feel that feels a little bizarre to me. It's possible. I mean, I feel like it would be simpler, right? It would just be like mom was super overbearing about her weight when she was growing up. I mean, I don't know if that's right or wrong. I'm just saying, like, that seems a little interesting to go that far with that theory. But okay, maybe. I mean. <clears throat> Proxy would be encouraging your child to continue with their mental illness. I know it doesn't completely align with the definition, but take a look at this clip here where it seems as though the mom has no idea Eugenia has any sort of mental problem. How is your your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Huh? Exactly. See? 
Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take exactly. Skinny We're mini, all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Just as a little. What's that supposed to convey to us? To any normal person that just looks like a mom that's trying to be supportive. What do you think that this fucking mom is, is like an expert in mental health? You know, she's probably with her the whole... Listen, I don't know this specifically, but that clip showed us nothing other than the mom like, oh yeah, okay. There, she could probably also be in denial. I don't know. Um, who fucking knows? <clears throat> I don't know. The mom lives with her. She's probably like, oh, I guess she's all right. She's doing fine. She probably is doing Okay. Just like I'm doing okay. If you live with me, you think, oh, I'm doing okay. But I have mental, I have, uh, not the problem. I have like health problems, but I'm taking care of it, right? It's, I don't think, I mean, that by itself proves nothing. The mom seems fine. What is that? <laughs> it's just fucking normal interaction. Little side note, am I the only one that's wondering who the f watches these streams? I mean, I guess if you, you watch this, <laughs> I guess some you do. Sort of entertainment. Like, I feel like you got some sort of problem. Maybe. I don't understand if she's like motivational because she's, actively trying to recover from her illness but uh, that's just not the okay. case this lady is actually wasting away and losing weight year after year and there's okay. people just watching on a day-to-day -day basis like nothing's wrong there's actually multiple well, videos out there's there. there's really nothing that you're gonna do about it so it is what it is just let her live her life at this point that that's that's the thing is like you get to a certain point it's like an, like an addiction there's a very low chance that you're gonna be able to overcome your addiction it's a horrible thing to say you know, but there's not like a sad reality to it. You know, it's that like it's very difficult to overcome addiction. It's very difficult to overcome like issues like this. And sometimes it's just is what it is, man. You know, showing that Eugenia can't do basic day to day. Papa, I disagree. Every normal person would find that statement weird. Come on. What are you a fucking idiot? What are you talking about? What statement was so weird? Yeah, she's doing all right. She's a skinny mini. It's like you have a kid and you're like in fucking denial. It's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Like, you guys are acting like it's something that's so fucking insane. Like, yeah, I mean, that she's, I, I'm not, well, her issue, like, her under eating is a big deal, obviously, but like, it's the mom, that by itself is nothing. <laughs> like, if that's what you're basing everything, I mean, there might be more. And if, if, and maybe you're coming from the perspective of, like, hey, there's a lot more. And that's just like, uh, the sprinkles on top. Like, okay, fine. I haven't seen it, so I can't tell you. I'm not going to just react the way you want me to because, um, because I'm not, I'm just not going to do that. That's fucking childish. And, but <clears throat> like that by itself is nothing. That's all. That's that's by itself. Say things without the help of her mom. How does people open a boot chair? How do people like? Is this like what everyone uses? Like when they go to? Am I holding this right? How do I? I don't understand. I don't know. He's like, how do you get this little, like, white thingy out? Is this, like, her whole bit, acting like a fucking idiot? Like, is this the whole thing that she does? How do you swipe an apple cart? You gotta, like, make frosting? I didn't even know you could make frosting. <laughs> how am yeah, I gonna okay. open that? Like, why do they sell these I'm assuming that her bit is acting, like, stupid. Like, she acts like she doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Or... <laughs> okay. Incredible. Great stuff. Kids, like, how are kids supposed to open these things? Wait, do this shovel? We have to dig. Oh. So what do I do? Just make a hole? We have to dig in there. It's not hard to see why Eugenia's okay. mom wants her to stay so dependent on her. In what? case you didn't know, Eugenia lives at home with her mom, and she brings in. A why are we? What did we talk? Wait, what, what, I missed something. What do I do? Just make a hole? We have to dig in there. It's not hard to see why Eugenia's mom wants her to stay so dependent on her. What the hell are you talking about? Is that what that's supposed to show? It shows to me that like Eugenia play, acts like a fucking idiot on camera for attention and views. That doesn't communicate at all that the mom's trying to keep her dependent. And again, like you understand that even if a mom wanted to keep them dependent, like there's a that's not necessarily abnormal. I feel like it's normal for parents to not want their kids to grow up. It doesn't make it right, but to add like there's a difference between somebody like fucking poisoning somebody to keep them uh, unhealthy <laughs> versus somebody who just wants their kids to stay around. Right? We understand that these are two different things. She might just be like a little bit of an overbearing, enabling mom that's having a negative impact on her kid because her kid has. Um, a, a bad relationship with food, right? We know that. Or... <clears throat> in case you didn't know, Eugenia lives at home with her mom, and she brings in a pretty decent okay. amount of ad revenue and sponsorships from her YouTube videos. So it doesn't sound crazy okay. to say that the mom's trying to control her for crying uh, out loud. It does seem very crazy to say that. Show you have to show us if this is if this is the exposed video. You need to show us a lot more than Eugenia acting stupid and not knowing how to open up a beach towel, um, and her mom saying, "Ah, she's fine. She's just a skinny mini." Like, oh, 1950s terms. Holy shit. <laughs> this woman has to sneak out of her own house. Does she? I'm trying to think where the best place to see it will be. Oh, 
okay. What the hell is she doing? Oh, she's awake. I woke her up. Hey, mom. Did you hear about the moon? Is it that? Everyone's telling me I need to go see it. Oh, okay. All right, let's look through. The, we're just going to look through the window, guys. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Is it and the f the mom's hella toxic. All right, I'm going to have to go. I'll have to find something that communicates that because so far I'm not really seeing much, but okay. The thing is that she's probably paying for that house that she has to sneak out of and be okay, told maybe. not to leave. I mean, it's just mind boggling. Even one of Eugenia's close. I don't know. I mean, it's possible that by itself is like, uh, okay, whatever. Friends, Jacqueline Glenn tried getting her treatment. <laughs> But of course, the mom was manipulative. I also want to say that last night on You Now, Eugenia said that her mom doesn't think anything is wrong. She said that her mom said, you just need to ignore this stuff online. I hope someone recorded it and posted it on YouTube soon. She was saying her mom is not even worried about her dying. So for those of you who think we don't need to be playing, paying attention to the mom, think again. The mom thinks Eugenia is not going to die. She's an idiot. Okay, so just to be clear about this whole, um, this here, uh, most, like, listen, not to be an asshole, but I understand where the mom's coming from, just generally speaking. The problem with the internet is that this is, we'll make it very simple. There are things that people do right, and then there are things that people do wrong, right? I, we've all been there, myself included. You'll make a mistake, or you maybe you don't make a mistake. The internet criticism, regardless, is so massively disproportionate that it causes you to tune out. So what I'm hearing here is that Eugenia probably gets a lot of criticism. A lot of it's disproportionate to the point where it's mentally stressing her. And the mom's just like, brush it all off and write it all off. This is normal to me. Like it's again. There's obviously Eugene is under eating, but you're the the problem here, and this is a consistent problem on the internet, is disproportionate <laughs> criticisms. Ugh. But also, you're applying you're applying a predatory narrative to these things. But it's more it's more likely that Eugene just gets like has been getting hate forever, and the mom's just like brush it off at this point. So it does like we're talking about intentionality. And like again, let's we have to stop pretending that the people on the internet are fucking superheroes. Um, like the criticism online, like you're not a superhero, you're not actually going to change anything. Telling Eugenia Cooney she has a problem with her relationship with food, you're not doing anything. Like she's just gonna brush it off. Like, who are you? You're a random troll online that doesn't really care. You're virtue trolling. Like that's all it comes down to. Like you're pretending that you care. You don't really care as much as you do. It is what it is. <clears throat> and stop it from happening. Around February 2019, Eugenia's online presence started to okay. decrease, and she eventually posted that she was taking a break from social media probably to work smart. on herself with a doctor. Fast forward five- That's probably a very good idea. Five months later, she popped back up on YouTube. She looks like she gained a little weight. And she made an appearance on Shane Dawson's channel. If you've been a long time user here on YouTube- Oh yeah, I heard that documentary was a little bit rough. I'd have to watch it myself to really know though. Maybe I should watch it myself. YouTube, you probably know of the name Shane Dawson. He's yeah. kind of like an OG. I think he was like on Vine before YouTube or one of those other apps that was popular back in the, the early 2000s. Okay. You probably know him from some of his work like uh, like that. Yeah, that guy. For the most nice. part, you can tell she still looks the same. Was that blackface? Like, uh, like that. Oh. Is that blackface or is that like... Is this supposed to be blackface or is that supposed to be like Italian face? Because that looks more like uh, like a New Jer one of that New Jersey show. Jersey Shore. Okay. Yeah, that guy. For the most part, you can tell she still looks the same, and she never... No, she looked a little bit healthier, I guess you'd say, there. ...for address that she had an eating disorder, which isn't really a good sign because anytime you have, like, a problem or an addiction... Why would she address that she has an eating disorder to the public? Like, why is that any of our business, to be honest with you? You know, one of the first things to say is to admit that you have the problem. So okay. it wasn't off to a good start. But it was an eye-opening video to see Eugenia more on a candid side when she's not streaming or making a YouTube video. Unfortunately, though, even as of this year, police in Connecticut received calls from all over the world expressing concern for her. In response to these... Okay. That... <laughs> uh, were they legitimate wellness calls or were they trolls on the internet pretending to care and calling in wellness checks on Eugenia? Because, like, not for nothing... There's, I feel like that wellness checks in some instances can be almost the same as fucking swatting somebody at this point. Oh, I'm worried about them. I'm concerned for their well being. Oh, can you go check up on this person? Like, okay. You know, her, her, okay, whatever. 
He's calls. Police say that Eugenia has always been skinny, quote unquote, was of sound mind and still has her bubbly personality. Probably Is it true. me or does that sound like something the mom would say? No, that just sounds like something the police would say when they showed up. You want to know something interesting about the police? It's not their job to be a fucking therapist. So they'll show up. They'll probably see that she's doing fine. I'm going to go, okay, there's nothing to do here. Same thing if you called the police on somebody that was 500 fucking pounds for a wellness check. They show up like the person was, uh, you know, they were fucking clear of mind. They were able to communicate. They seem fine, blah, 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 and they move on. You know, it's, uh, it is very interesting how <laughs> Eugenia Cooney is one of the cases of like, uh, re <laughs> like reverse fat phobiaism. Fat, what? What? I can't even say words. People are so much harder on her because she's anorexic. Go do this to your fucking 600 pound friend and leave Eugenia alone. You're not helping. You're not doing anything. Like she's at a point like just that's it. It is what it is. It's just life. Like gotta move on. Uh, six, seven, eight. Oh. I mean, like, are we really living in a dystopian society right now? Because it feels like everyone's just turning a blind eye to this. Besides the police. No, it's okay. Uh, okay. Police. Other welfare agencies even checked up on her too, and cool. they said that they can't force her to eat, and she that's apparently true. doesn't meet the requirements for forced treatment. I really want to see what the requirements look like because just look at her latest video. Don't you think? Uh, the requirements probably would. So the requirements probably centralize around her not even being able to move <laughs> or exist in general. Like, uh, yeah, okay. She meets the criteria for help. Besides how completely forced help? No, probably not. Forced, like she's not that far. Like she's very skinny and it's not good. But like at the end of the day, she it looks like she's actually managing reasonably well. So no, I wouldn't imagine that she would re she would like hit a criteria for forced help. But okay, be emaciated she looks. <clears throat> the other thing that prompted me to make this video is the scary anorexic symptoms she's showing while she's streaming. What, what you're about to see is her showing signs of dysphagia. I don't know if I said that right. I'm not a doctor. I shouldn't say it at all. <laughs> but it's pretty much where you're having difficulty swallowing and coughing. Jacqueline Glenn knew Eugenia personally, with Jacqueline mentioned in the video about her mom is a massive issue. I never knew anything about the mom until Jacqueline says something. Have you watched Jacqueline? No, I haven't watched Jacqueline's video. And that might be true. Um, That might be true. Like, I'm not saying that she that the mom isn't. The mom, listen, if Eugenia is that skinny, it's very clear to me that the mom absolutely is an enabler. Okay, but there's a difference between being an enabler. Like, that doesn't mean that she is an intentional bad person. It doesn't mean that she's engaging in Munchausen's by proxy because she's an enabler. You know, it's the same thing as, like, you know, if you have that 500-pound person that was eats too much and they can't leave their bed or they're 600 pounds and somebody goes out and shops for them. They're an enabler, but I'm not going to ass assign predatory intention to that person. Like, if you look at this in terms of somebody that's morbidly obese and somebody that instead of somebody that's dangerously underweight, you'd, you'd probably go, oh, I get it. But we add, we add so much negativity to this situation. It seems like an, a little bit of an overbearing um, mother. That's an enabler. Like, and maybe there's more, but also keep in mind that Jacqueline Glenn, whoever the fuck that is, is another content creator that's v going to be very, very, very um, aware of the social narrative around things and is going to lean into that, whether it's intentional or not, because it's just something that happens on the internet that people are going to lean into particular narratives that are very prevalent on the internet and they're going to be afraid of speaking out against it. <clears throat> so. Thing hurts too, which you're about to see. What's happening here? What? What? what, what I'm sorry. What was that? What you're supposed to see there? Having difficulty swallowing and was she Beva? Coughing hurts too, which you're about to see. Okay, what am I supposed to see here? Like, yeah, she should probably see a doctor. Like, oh, okay, we know she's unhealthy. Jacqueline on someone who 5150 Eugenia. Uh, what did they do in the 5150? Okay. 
even something as simple as coughing probably hurts because Jack, when you're that skinny because she's unhealthy we got up and malnourished pretty much everything hurts what makes this illness so dangerous and so sad is that there's no easy solution you might be thinking hey why don't we just force her into treatment well it's not that simple well you see oh, with shit. mental illnesses like anorexia forced treatment if not successful can make the problem even worse as the person suffering with anorexia internalizes that trauma and digs a deeper hole for themselves okay. that's exactly what happened with eugenia the last time she got treatment what about temporarily getting her off social media how do you know that well, are you making that assumption maybe it just wasn't effective because a lot of um I, I'd, I'd put this in the addiction range a lot of addiction treatments don't necessarily work and be very difficult to restructure somebody, especially if you send them back home after, regardless of whether the mom's doing it on purpose or not. Um, going back home afterwards is just putting her back into the environment that created the issue in the first place. So, like, that's why a lot of um, religious focused or religious centered um, treatment facilities don't work particularly well because. Um, you're not actually changing what's at home. Once you're into a new environment, you know, things go back to normal. You have to learn how to deal with shit inside of that environment. You can't just, you know, do something like that. Yeah, that way, her and her mom has no other choice but to get treatment for her. Well, the problem okay. with that is kind of simple. You can't just take someone's freedom away just because they have a mental illness. Uh, no one was yeah. petitioning for Nikocado, whatever, avocado guy to get off of social media. You got it all right. Why are you saying Nikocado, whatever, avocado guy? <laughs> you knew his entire name. What the fuck? even though he was practically eating himself to death. And the same thing sure, goes for someone that may have OCD or schizophrenia or any other type of mental illness. On uh, top sure. of that, social media is probably one of her prime- Oh my God, is that Amaranth? <laughs> very sources of having a social life. So kicking her off all of those is probably gonna lead to even more problems. So it's pretty oh, much sure. a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of scenario. I'm so glad I stumbled upon Eugenia's page and started learning more about anorexia because I always thought that anorexia was something that just models deal with because they just want to stay skinny for their job it's a very sad oh, illness okay. to have uh, i even found this other video that shows a woman with anorexia that just wants to die because she's tired of battling with this illness for most of her life and this sure. lady is only 40 years old you want to die now if the option was there today i would yes damn that's brutal it really shows how powerful anorexia is and why I wanted to make this video. And most importantly, highlight the importance of mental well-being. If you have friends or family that's close to you, make sure to find time to sit down and talk to them and see how they're doing. They don't well, even thankfully my friends and my friends are are fat as fuck, my family, so <laughs> I won't have to worry about them having anorexia, don't worry. <clears throat> you have to have any mental mental issues be part of someone's support system because you just never know what they're really going through until you take the yeah you can recommend that video on instagram time and if you're going to learn anything from this video i want you to remember this you can spend countless hours the power in the gym, but if you don't set aside some time yours. to take care of your yourself mentally none of that stuff matters because you're going to be miserable exercising should be a supplement to your well-being not the only thing that's keeping you sane like i said True spend quality that. time with friends and family meditate i do that sometimes and no you don't have Dude. to be a white girl with a yoga mat to Jack do it. i really hope that eugenia finds the help that she needs someday and i want to wish you guys up. a happy new year and stay safe out there until next time profit out yeah okay uh yeah hopefully she gets help she needs to she probably won't it's an unfortunate reality of the world and uh yeah you know <clears throat> hopefully she's just learned to deal with the shit that she's going on with because i mean people are pat like are basically patterned at this point so it like unfortunately is what it is but Hey, let's hope. Hey, we'll we'll pray to the gooning gods for her. Okay.